We're at the Swansway Stadium in Chester and the books have gone down to a 2-1 defeat to Chester this afternoon in National League North and I have manager Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin, I imagine that's quite tough to take for a number of reasons. Yeah, I'm really disappointed obviously in the result. Um, I'm also disappointed that a number of players didn't really turn up as I wanted them to. Um, we've worked really hard this week and been you know, having changed formation slightly. You know, we were meticulous in our attention to detail, um, but some of the players just didn't take it on board enough and, and lacked, lacked intelligence on the day. And, and even that hard work, desire and doing a job and a half, which you know, really pains me to say that. So you, you, can't, you can't come to a place like this and, and not apply yourself in the right way. Sure. Is a little bit of that playing in front of a you know, a fairly hostile crowd, would you say? Does no, that, should really, that affect think, players at this level? Or? Well, they shouldn't be playing at this level if they can't handle that. Handle that. You know, as a player myself, I, I never used to really hear anything, so you just get on, get on with your job. So if, if I felt like they'd struggle in this atmosphere, then you know, they shouldn't, shouldn't be here. So I hope that's not the case. Sure. So what was the thinking behind the change in, in formation going into today then and the change of plan? Just I felt, I felt as though it need, needed freshening up and I felt there was, there was areas in which we could hurt them. Um, and I thought as well, you know, there's a lot of teams, they're changing for us at the moment. So I sort of half anticipated that they might change, but they might not, and they didn't. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it was set up perfectly for us, considering the work that we've done in the week. Sure. Took the lead against the runner play. Obviously, must have been pleased with, to go ahead, but then to concede within five minutes of that, I guess, I disappointing. Believed, I was relieved that we went ahead because, you know, we started slowly. And that's just not like us. I was shocked. Um, one thing I expect from my team is to start fast and to be at it and you know credit to Chester like I said I thought we, we did well in spells um, but credit to Chester you know they, they seem to want it more than us today and that, that is very difficult for me to say Sure I know we don't want to say too much about um, some of the decisions in the game there was a, a goal disallowed uh, Shane Sutton sent off as well I know there were not too many complaints about that well, I think you know if you're going by the letter of the law but I still think the lad's going well away from goal it's not like he's going directly towards goal you know so yeah, I think if you're going to take his performance as a whole, it just wasn't consistent with the rest of his performance. You know, it was very strange, and um, I thought he played up to the crowd completely. And um, you know, that that was to our detriment. I'm not, I'm, listen, I'm not blaming the referee, but it's hard enough coming here to play against you know a Chester eleven. You don't need the referee and his and his officials doing the same. You know, the, one, the linesman asked me to speak to him, so when I went to him and spoke to him closer, he told me that if I said anything else, he put me in the stand. So I mean, that's what you're dealing with, you know. So, but no, no excuses. You know, the officials are the officials, but we've certainly had better officials at this level. Sure. Were you pleased with the way the team responded when they went down to ten? Because I mean, in the last 20 minutes or so, that there, there seemed to be there's some spirit there, isn't there? They were still trying. Yeah, you know, I want to say yes, Rich, but I just, for me, it's a bit of a weakness, you know. Like, why can't you do that when, when it's yeah. 11 v 11? If you do that when it's 11 v 11, we've got a good enough team with good enough characters to go and win the game. So why, why all of a sudden find something when you're two one down with 10 men? But for me, it's it's, it's a sign of mental weakness. And um, again, that's not us because we haven't got mentally weak players in there. But today, for whatever reason, that's that's what they did. So, yeah, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to praise them too much just because. You know, they, you've got no alternative, have you? No. you know, when you're down to 10 men and you're 2-1 down, what, what else do you do other than come out and start playing? And You should have the courage to do that from the very start. Sure, OK. Um, a word for the fans who are here today, because they, they backed your side pretty well throughout the whole game, didn't they? I don't think there's any words that I can use to express my thanks to the supporters. You know, Going over at the end of the game, I was almost, and I'm not an emotional guy, as you know, um, but I was almost quite choked to see the reaction and... That this, you know, because I've spoke about how we don't get too excited when it's going well, and then we don't get too down when it's not. And you know, I'm assuming we're still in a good position, and, and, and people would have taken this at the start of the season. But you know, we've got to stop saying that. We've got, we've got to really kick on. But the supporters at the end there were just magnificent, you know, and all the positive comments that we're continuing to get because we are, you know, we are obviously completely um, over exceeding all expectation. But you know, it doesn't mean that we can't kick on, and that's what we've got to do now. These next three games, you know, we've got to go and get nine points. You know, that's that's what we've got to do. But yeah, you know, I just want to wish all the supporters like, you know, a real Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I hope that we can bring those points and bring bring them those as presents, really. Sure, and you would be looking for them, plenty of them to come out on Boxing Day against Nuneaton. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, we we really need them to. You know, Nuneaton have obviously got a new manager and they're going to be wanting to kick on. But you know, the, the lads need to see that support. They need to see them come out. And you know, I'm urging everyone. You know, I know I know friends and family and visiting and stuff like that to happen. 
But I'm, I'm urging everybody to come out and really support us and really get us over the line because, um, you know, as you can see, what the, the Chester supporters did for them today, you know, they were they were fully behind them and unfortunately the referee played up to it. But, you know, I'd, I'd love I'd love them to come and give that that inspiration to our players. But, you know, the, the supporters have just been magnificent and that's not just on a match day, mm-hmm. you know, and home and away games. That's, you know, when I walk in the streets and people coming up to me and being complimentary, it's... Um, it's really re- rewarding for all the hard work that we do. Sure. Okay. Thanks for your time, Gavin, as ever. Cheers, Rich. Thanks. Thanks Cheers.